argument, and again, I don't agree with it, but the argument is that schools should not be the place where you teach prescriptive norms. In other words, what ought to be, you know, values, what, what's right and what's wrong. That's a matter of personal choice. That's a matter of family choice. And of course, you can point historically to times in American history where the teaching of, you know, values, you know, how you should believe about other people's race or, or sexuality, you know, you can certainly point to episodes in history where that has, you know, taken a dark turn. Um, but again, I think the vacuum, you know, pretending that there is any such thing as a vacuum. I mean, you know, let's take honesty, for example. And again, I'm, I'm going with this most obvious cause for the backlash, if you will, against character development but I'm not agreeing with it. Um, if you say like, well, you know, honesty is something that's taught in the home, you know, by mom and dad. And, you know, there's no place to discuss that in the classroom. But if there's cheating in the school and the teacher says, you know, X or the teacher says Y or the teacher says Z, I mean, you are teaching something about honesty, whether you like it or not. There's an implicit curriculum for character development. I'm arguing that it should be more intentional and not accidental. And I am arguing, and, and here too, I, I'm sure I have um, uh, opponents. I, I believe that there is scientific research on, you know, what the brain does when you tell a lie and, you know, how, how we come to be honest people, how we perceive honest people. 